If he gets here. He has to get here. He said he'd come. Face facts, Molly. The natives got him. We all feel terrible. But now he's out of the running, and we can finally settle the question of what one might deem leadership. <laughs> Quakes! A floating tomato! Say what? A red dot on the horizon! Betty, you're a genius! Woohoo! A vast behind! My bloomers have stood up to stronger wind than this! Full speed ahead! <laughs> They're safe. That's good. Oh, I do wish Peter was here. Remember the mission. Now, we need to get this trunk to the beach. Now, move it! The night that Ted and Prentice spent dragging the trunk down the mountain was worse than any night they had spent at the orphanage. Because the rain isn't like the rain in England. It rains like stones and hits your head. And you, and you can't see because there's trees. In front of trees. Surrounded by trees, smack in your face. And you can't breathe. Because of the bugs. And the beetles. Wine. Crunchy. Sticky. Sticky. And they're in your mouth. And up your nose. And down your front. So you take cover and wait out the rain. But you can forget about sleep. Because it's way too scary out there, and there's a trunk to save. And you still have to reach the beach. <sighs> All right, the most important thing is that we cannot fall asleep, boys. No sleeping. Teddy, come on. No, don't. <sighs> you spark out. Peter, Peter, I... <laughs> you wouldn't believe I saw the most incredible thing. Right, well, um, nice to see you. Shall we wait the boys? Uh, been a long day. Leave him be. Just us, then? Yeah, just us. We should check the star stuff, make sure it's okay. Oh, no, that's not... I want to sit in the star stuff. That's very dangerous exposure to so much of it. I don't care. Well, I do! You know, I waited and waited. I told them you'd come, and he waited, and it rained, and it was so dark. I'm and here. I'm here. Do you think I'm, I've changed? You're dirtier. <laughs> <laughs> so, I've been meaning to ask you about, you know, the thing that you did. What thing? The kiss, okay? The kiss. What kiss? <laughs> the kiss, the one that you gave me. Oh, that kiss. What kiss, she said. Well, what about it? Did you want to? Want to? I didn't want to. We were about to be eaten alive. Because I was just sitting there and you grabbed me. Well, such a fuss. Didn't you like it? No, I mean... It you was... didn't like it. You didn't like it. And now you're telling me that you didn't well, like it. That's not what I meant. <laughs> then what do you mean? I mean, I guess I'm just saying... I guess... I'm asking. No, you stop that right there. I won't answer any such question. You're inclining towards the sentimental, and that's all well and good for a boy, but fact is, we girls must be strong. And when I marry, I shall make it very clear to my husband. Marry? That you thought I was asking you to marry? Not you, you swat of the ego. <laughs> when I marry, I will make it very clear to this person that sentimentality is not on the calendar. He shall either lump it or leave it, and if he should leave, I'll stay a spinster and pin my hair back and volunteer weekends at the hospital. And I'll love words for their own sake, like Hyacinth or Piccadilly or Onyx. And I'll have a good old dog, and I'll think what I like, and be part of a family with friends, you know, people who understand that things are only worth what you're willing to give up for them. And even if in the face of death, I may have... Wanted to? I didn't say that. Got it. Good. Wow. <laughs> now that you're here, I think I'm going to rest my eyes a bit. Mm, poor. No. <laughs> Molly, no. The leader has to be a boy, you swat. <laughs> <laughs> Got him, remember? Is that the sun? What's for breakfast? <laughs> he said, Ow! If you can shoot a star, that you means. can see the sky at all. We're so close to the beach, boys. Come on, we can do this. 